Hello beautiful ladies, in today's video we're going to be talking about how multi-level marketing slash MLMs are the worst business model and how the whole kind of stereotype, positive stereotype of entrepreneur, quote unquote, business owner, quote unquote, um, work from home, laptop lifestyle is all a lie. I'm going to break down MLMs for you and why I strongly dislike them. There, this might be an unpopular belief, maybe some of you agree with this, but I am coming to you not from just a random perspective, I'm coming to you from a perspective of somebody that has started several of her own online e-commerce businesses that are not MLMs, by the way, and I know how much work it takes, I know it takes an actual investment, and I see how the finances grow and how to operate it. And also, conversely to that, I have been in several MLMs before, and this was prior to really fully doing my research and realizing how unfair it is for the person joining an MLM. So this is not really going to be biased because I do have kind of evidence and experience, really good experience from both sides. Now I'm probably going to make several videos about this topic because this is a woman empowerment channel. We talk about money. Oh yeah. We talk about women and we talk about how to get power, anything to basically make you the better version of the yourself. And I do have a Facebook group for us women. It's growing very rapidly. And when I do polls on there, a lot of you are very interested in business business talk. So I thought I would make a video for this and my group, by the way, you can join it on Facebook. The link is down below. It's also called into a Millie woman. Um, basically one of the rules is to not promote MLMs or any other type of things like that, not directly or privately. And I do that with a very good reason. And that's because MLMs are for the majority a waste of time and the success rate is very, very low. Now I'm talking from a perspective of doing my research of actually being in it. And I will make several videos about my experiences in them kind of from a non-judgmental perspective, but I'm trying to tell you women how to actually start a legitimate business that brings a positive return on your precious time, which is your most valuable asset and on the money you invest plus to actually bring you money back. Because from my experiences, MLMs are a complete and total waste of time. And the sad thing is, is that they cater to a lot of the times single moms or women or stay at home moms that are trying to find a side income and they're painting this picture of this beautiful life of how you can have all of this extra cash coming in from the side while you get to spend home with your kids. While that is simply not the truth. It is a complete waste of time and whether it's a quote unquote pyramid scheme or not, it doesn't matter. So basically, not all MLMs are pyramid schemes. There are a good portion of them that are, and basically a pyramid scheme is a little bit more complex than the common definition of whoever is on the top makes the most money. While that is true, basically a pyramid scheme, there is no actual product and they're just collecting money and then oftentimes using the investor's money to kind of pay off other investors instead of investing into the actual project it's supposed to be or actually using the investors or whatever under biz downline business person or whatever. They like to call them CEOs and that's so far from the truth, but they like to use their money to fund other ventures as opposed to what it's actually supposed to be funding. And a lot of the times they just run away with the money. That is honestly, um, I'm not sure how common that is. I know that is a thing. That's an actual pyramid scheme, but a multi-level marketing company is not always a pyramid scheme. There are ones that have been around for a very, very long time, such as Amway. That company is, um, has been around for a long time and it's not considered a pyramid schemes. Different companies do leverage the kind of um, retailer or whatever of Amway to kind of have their own thing. And perhaps that's been associated with pyramid schemes. I'm not certain. However, I'm not talking about the actual scam of a pyramid scheme, which is actually a scam. I'm talking about the faulty structure of an MLM, even though it might not be classified as a pyramid scheme and might be fully legal, but just on the ROI, return on investment, and ROT, return of time, is completely unfair to pretty much everyone that 
goes into it okay so the truth is yes whoever started this company whoever leveraged it whoever marketed it out is going to be incredibly wealthy because they have all their downline and not only are they making money from the downline of whatever selling products whether it's them purchasing the products themselves or selling it out to their family and friends Oftentimes, they also make it an info product business as well as an events business, meaning they have monthly charges for certain ways of communication, for certain type of CDs or audio messages, things like that. And they charge a monthly fee. So every single person in their downline is paying that reoccurring revenue who the people on top are getting. So if you find value in that, then that's fine. However, that's how a lot of the money is made. And then the events and conferences they put together also has a very, very large attendance rate. And everyone that goes in there pays an entry fee. It could be, I don't know, anywhere from $100 to like $500, probably even more. And they pay this attendance fee. And of course, minus all the cost of the events, that's another side profit. So the people at the top are quite wealthy, not only because they have the people at the bottom selling their products, but also because they're getting that reoccurring revenue from the info products and all of the events they put through now that's not an equal kind of opportunity for everybody in the downline because obviously they are not allowed to host these types of events and collect money nor are they allowed to have info products that they can sell to their downline they're also very strict on the way they let you promote and try to get your downline some companies don't allow you to do any um, external advertising they want it to be kind of your sweat blood and tears but essentially the most of the profits are made if you're at the top now whatever whoever started it good for them if the product is good and they want to sell it and people want to be salespeople, that's fine that that's another business strategy what i have a problem with is painting this unrealistic dream and catering to people who don't know much about business to paint the dream for them as they are this powerful ceo that supposedly has their own company and has this opportunity to get private jets cars nice houses debt free thing everything and that is completely wrong because to get to that level you have to do a lot and i am not a lazy person i have started several businesses you can check out my my channel i was pre-med in school i put in the time and i put in the time into these mlms and yeah maybe you can get to the point where you're making an extra 20k a year 50k a year 150k a year however that is going to basically if i can't even it's hard to explain for somebody who doesn't like understand the business structure of these and how the compensation plan works, but it is nearly impossible to get to that level. Um, I wouldn't even say if you're hustling and doing the work every single day, because it's a mixture of luck and a mixture of how kind of, um, charismatic you are as well. That's also an unfair kind of advantage. The reason that people at the top are making the money is because they are taking advantage of every single downline. For example, somebody who is charismatic and good at this, perhaps they get a lot of people in their downline and can spread more easily than somebody who is just your average person. And they tend to convince that average person that, for example, doesn't have those charismatic skills that if they put in the work and if they work on themselves, that it is possible to get to the level of that but that's simply not true every person has different skills and mathematically and the requirements for it just doesn't work equally for each individual and they go back to this I want to use the harsh word of brainwashing because essentially that's what it is. When I first kind of found out about MLMs I didn't really know it was a situation this kind of like very big everyone knew about it I just thought it was a business opportunity and that's how it was presented to me but it's the opposite you're basically a reseller of a product you're not a business owner and they tell you all these things that get your hopes up that painting these flashy dreams but to get to a level of financial stability to be able to buy a lambo a lamborghini cash or a house cash is crazy crazy and i've been to these conferences and people talking about their income saying that they net a million dollars and these are people like literally under the top top people that basically started it and they have all this reoccurring revenue from all the sales and they're barely breaking a million dollars in revenue a year now maybe to the average person that's a lot of money and can do a lot of things well yes it is but for somebody who's in the business world a million bucks isn't gonna do 
and squat. Honestly, with the amount of businesses that are available right now online that you can start, specifically the one I do, Amazon FBA, a million dollars net is achievable. It's really achievable if you understand the business model. You just have to know how to work with the numbers and kind of it's an it's an objective thing that just works if you get it as opposed to having to pull all these strings um it just doesn't make sense and the the picture that's painted for kind of people for the downline is for this thing from the truth there's a group of kind of high level people in mlm that do really well and they flash their yachts and all these materialistic things and they don't properly educate um, you on the business model, which I think is totally, totally false. It's prying on the emotions of people. And that's kind of what it's all about. It's all about feeding a person's status to make them feel empowered as if they're going to be a business owner and do all these amazing things and be able to spend more time with children, which actually I really, um, I really, really against that kind of, especially targeting females who are already vulnerable, who already have that emotional need to be with their children and wanting to not work from home. And they have them invest into, um, some, some are worse than others, MLMs. I'm not going to name any specific names and what's good or what's bad. Some require a crazy upfront cost for inventory. And then you try to sell these products to your family and friends, such as some makeup brands. How in the world, like, think about this. Let's say your goal is even like $200,000 of profit, right? How many makeup items do you have to sell to get that kickback of $200,000 a year, right? Or the little bonuses that you get. It's just unrealistic. It is unrealistic the amount of work. And am I saying it completely doesn't work? No, because it could work. Um, but it's just not effective. It's not efficient. The success rate is extremely low. And the reason they're putting you through all of this is to get and squeeze that money from you for you purchasing the product. And they feed your dream as long as possible with all these motivational talks and speeches and keeping the dream. If, if you give up, you're not fighting for your dream. And that, that feeds into their monthly reoccurring revenue because the longer they can keep you in the downline, the more money they make. And they go with this premise of, I want to help you. And I, I honestly think that everyone has been brainwashed because as a business owner and seeing actual returns on the products that I put out, it honestly no longer makes sense to me. They also, a lot of them have this philosophy of not having any debt. If you are a person that doesn't know how to build your credit or use credit cards, then going into debt could be really atrocious for your entire credit and the future of you trying to purchase a house or getting a lease on anything. But if you're smart with your money and you know how to leverage it, every business person knows that it's always a good thing to leverage other people's money, even if it comes with a percentage, as long as you can make more of a percentage of ROI on top of what interest rate you're getting it for. So for them to be buying everything cash, such as a house, a car, just honestly doesn't make sense. And it goes against all smart business principles. I mean, they also tend to claim the fact that this is my favorite <laughs> sarcastically this is one of my favorite lines they say is um how many streams of income do you have this is the question they ask and when you say okay i just have one job like a nine to five that pays me x amount per hour they said you know what the job market is crashing what if you were to get fired you're not diversifying then all your income is lost and then everyone says oh yeah i understand but then okay so let's say i join this mlm and i get into it then wouldn't my income be from one source as well? <laughs> Instead of my job, now my income is dependent on an MLM. And if it crashes or if the coronavirus happens, like right now, no one can go around and meet people to try to sell the product. So what are you supposed to do then? Then isn't my stream of income completely halted right now? Yes. So again, it's, it's a lot of brainwashing. It's a lot of false motivation to try to get you to stay in longer. I honestly have a lot, a lot I can say. I have a lot of stories I can share of my personal experiences. I can break down kind of the financial compensation. It just does not make sense. What I can tell you is why I'm really against them. Um, not because I've lost a crazy, um, I haven't lost money in MLMs. I mean, I probably have by paying for the products, which the products typically aren't even the problem. A lot of the time, the products are actually good products. So I'm not bashing on those, but I'm just trying to 
unbrainwash people from kind of understanding that you're not a business owner as they like to call you you're just a sales representative for that company and you're getting a percentage of the sale you're an affiliate sales representative you don't have your own business and i want to spread awareness so especially to my beautiful women who want more for their life and want to start a business that's actually profitable and a good investment of their time but they're wasting their precious time into these essential oils and to these crystals or um, like hair growth serums, makeup brands that are pretty much just overpriced other makeup that you can get at the department store, right? It's like, it's not anything revolutionary. It's fine products, but to be promised this dream doesn't make sense. I knew a girl that was in an MLM for over five years and she recently got her income to be, I think, it was still probably around $50,000 a year at the maximum. And that is after five years of work. And she still has to take on side jobs in order to kind of make her ends meet. And honestly, after five years of work, that doesn't make sense. I started seeing returns in my business in like three months. And that doesn't just that comparison kind of makes me laugh because I see how many more opportunities there are out there than this BS. Um, if you are an amazing woman, which you are, or a male, whoever is watching this, I do have a, a business, second business channel. I'm going to link it down below. It's called just um, Karina into a Millie. It's about Amazon FBA. I basically build my own products and sell them to an already existing audience who wants to buy them on Amazon. And I have my own brands because you can put your name on the product and it's your brand that you can later resell. That actually gives you an, a re return on your time and money. So if you want to check out my YouTube channel, it's linked down below. I also put together a training so you can get that at intoamillie.com slash training where I basically talk about the business model A to Z, how I started my story, how to actually begin, what it is if you have no idea. It's meant for you so you can kind of see what an actual business looks like and like the financial breakdown of it and even that alone is the most amazing opportunity and you can actually do it if you are a stay-at-home mom or want to spend more time with your kids or just want a side income it's low investment um <laughs> no one ever gets a kickback from this it's like your own business your own risk but you know it's yours and there's so many kind of ways to actually deviate from it and actually make money in the future instead of being brainwashed so please keep aware let me know your uh, thoughts in the comments down below if you've had any experiences share them with me and let me know if you want other mlm stories because i do have a good portion to share so thanks for watching do like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel because i post videos about money woman and power my name is karina it was great to chat with you today and i will see you in the next video